LeBron's being such a big boy. He's helping out with stacking everything. And we still got a lot more, but we're trying to get storage together. Good job, LeBron. We're just trying to get everything stored and nice and neat and ready and all of that good stuff. <laughs> Cause he's broke. You felt him again. I felt him again. How many kicks was that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Golly. Nine. Nine. He said he playing with you, huh? Yeah. Call his name. Well, yeah. if they if they wake back up, I'll call you. Okay. 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 I think that's the cutest thing. <laughs> LeBron's face lit up. He got to, uh, he gets to feel them so much. They kick, 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 kick. They always kick him. So he enjoyed it. He's like, that the first time. He was like, that's hard. He kicking hard. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Different environment here, right? So as y'all, well, y'all probably haven't seen just yet because we, I probably don't put up the video of us rearranging the the room for the nursery and all of that for a good little minute uh, until we get everything pretty much accomplished. We may put that one to the side. But anyway, we um, have moved some stuff around in the bedroom, in our bedroom, because as you know, uh, we stay in the two bedrooms. So LeBron has his room and so the babies would be in our room. Um, I wanted to come to y'all and just talk a little bit about um, how I felt um, after the anatomy scan. Well, I'll say during and after the anatomy scan. Um, I was going to do this video with hubby, um, but today hubby's grandma passed away and I didn't want to burden him with having to talk about any type of emotional topic when it's already an emotional moment for him and his family um so he doesn't know that I'm doing the video right now but again I didn't want him to have to you know bring all those feelings back up and so forth and I just kind of wanted him to Ooh, excuse me so rude I didn't want him to just I don't know I just wanted him to whatever feelings that he's feeling right now for him to kind of, you know, conquer those feelings. And, um, you know, there are going to be plenty of times where we'll come on here and talk about things that we've experienced um, throughout the pregnancy. So 
anyway um so i'm gonna go ahead and get started so the video won't be so long um so as y'all know um i just put up the five month video and um basically i was telling y'all how i did my anatomy scan before that video i did put up a pre-talk of how i felt before my first anatomy scan because i had two i had one with my maternal fetal and about 18 weeks and like six days and then i had one with my ob depart my ob doctor um uh, and that one was at um exactly 20 weeks um so anyway when i made that video and i wasn't trying to get all emotional i tried my best to hold it in um i just was talking about how i felt before going in um and it was a bit of emotion um only because you know of what we've experienced and so forth but when I went to that appointment my maternal fetal doctor she said I bet you were nervous today huh and I said you know I wasn't nervous um I was not nervous at all I said however I was just really anxious to to see you know the progress and anxious to see you know just in general how they were doing and so forth I was more ready to look at them you know and then anything so the doc I mean the doc the ultrasound tech actually let me see she did my she did my um what you call it cervix but she did my cervix first and whatever and she was like okay um and she was looking i said is everything you know fine because a lot of times they don't talk to you their responsibility is to get all the measurements and stuff and then give it to the doctor and the doctor tell you whatever news you need to hear and so i was like okay i said look like everything is still good huh because i'm waiting on her response and stuff and she was like she was like yeah long and long and you know long cervix and blah blah, blah. she was like it's four point something something i was like okay so anyway when she got finished because she was getting so confused over which baby was oh lordy somebody poking out right here um she was getting so confused over which baby was which after a while because they are so close together so you have baby a right here and you have baby b so it's like you know it's so hard you know even though one of them is a tad bit higher than the other so anyway when the maternal fetal doctor came in there, she was just asking me how I was feeling and stuff. And I was just like, you know, it feels good being able to leave this appointment and go home. However, I was still like, okay, but with the girls, it was 20 weeks. And I'm only, um, you know, almost 19 weeks. So I still had that suspicion, you know, that, okay, well... It still was like a week later when we found out with uh, the girls. So I was still ready for the next appointment, which was on the, uh, for my 20 week. So when I went into that one, she didn't do my cervix first. She went straight to the ultrasound and I'm just like, okay. You know, of course I want to make sure that they're okay and stuff like that. But because it was exactly 20 weeks exactly same um amount of time frame i wanted to know what the cervix looked like even though i had a seat belt down there even though you know i know i had god's hand all over it and everything i just really wanted to know so anyway um after we looked at the babies and everything she's like okay i mean it was very long after about almost two hours then she decided to check the service and she was like, okay. She said, you know, she no, she didn't tell me. She's like, you know, it's, it's, it looks really good like that. She didn't tell me how long it was. So, of course, they had to go and make sure the doctor got all the paperwork, got all the ultrasound measurements, this, that, and the third. <clears throat> you know, we went to the doctor and uh, upstairs and he was like, everything looks perfect. He was like, you know, you're so, everything looks so good. The babies are measuring at the same, you know, pace and <clears throat> at the same, um, 
lance and everything they're just yeah. right. excuse me they're growing at the same speed same everything and so he says and your service is at a 4.9 and when he said that I, I felt good but I also felt inside a bit emotional and I guess it was because it's like I wish I would have heard those things with my girls um you know and it I don't know it was just one of those things where I was just like wow like of course I want my boys to survive of course you know I I, I want them to be healthy and live a long you know prosperous life and you know I want them to be you know the best they can be of course but I just keep I, and I knew it and I knew that this pregnancy was not going to start getting to me mentally or emotionally until I hit that 20 week mark I knew it and so anyway um when he told me that you know I was like yay you know this and the third and you know hubby was like that's exciting I was like yeah and in the back of my mind you know I didn't share this at all and I was just like you know I just really you know wish that it was my girls as well that I had that uh good news you know with or for so anyway we left out or whatever and like I said he was like nothing to look you know look at or whatever case may be oh and I did get someone which I'll probably get around to answering your question before this video go up but someone had asked me about p17 shots I am not doing those <laughs> I hate shots anyway but they don't they don't uh do those with twin pregnancies from what I understand um I haven't done much research about it so I can't really speak on it but from the few people that I know that had twins or more um they didn't do it so but I am going to be taking the tablets okay so um and I'm going to be taking the progesterone tablets but anyway um p17 shots yes so I'm going to be taking the oral tablets that he told me and I don't know how long I'm going to take them I don't know if it's through the rest of the duration of the pregnancy or how long he'd have me taking them but I do know at my 24 week appointment that's when he's going to prescribe those um pills to me and then again I already mentioned the steroid shot that they do for the lungs which they did that right before I delivered the girls um but they didn't repeat it within 24 hours because that hospital was horrible like I absolutely hated that hospital still hate it to this day and I would never ever go back to Kingwood ever the worst experience Ugh. anyway so after the appointment you know me and hubby we did some talking and stuff and he was just asking me where my mind was and it's so hard to if it, to me it was hard it's kind of hard to express certain feelings when it comes to you know talking about the girls versus talking about the boys I feel like if I talk about the girls so much then I'm not showing excitement or I'm not showing gratitude towards the boys if I'm sitting here talking about oh my gosh like um I'm you know I'm so happy this is happening but it's like I feel like my girls will kind of feel like you know kind of you know oh she's happy and it's like you know it took me a while to get to this place and y'all know that but it's like I want them to know that they matter too and I would have done anything you know to save them and if I would have known what I know now I would have had that tech done way before I would have noticed signs I would have seen that oh I had an aggressive yeast infection that I didn't even know about like I didn't know nothing about no yeast infection, you know, and so it's just so many things that I look out for now to protect them that I didn't know to look out for with the girls. So that just breaks my heart sometimes. Um, you know, I don't know. It's like I know I can't do anything extra for them because they're gone, you know, and 
it's, it's, I don't know, it's just one of those things, it's just kind of like, I know that I can't do anything now, I know I can't bring them back and start over, I wish there was a button, a reset button, <laughs> but it's not, you know, and you deal with what's in front of you, and you, you keep it going, and it's just, it's unfair, it's so unfair, <laughs> um, you know, and, um, I find myself, when I tell somebody that I'm pregnant, I find myself telling them about them too. I feel like I can't talk about them unless I talk about the girls. And it's like, when people, you know, they'll say, well, oh, well, how far are you? And I'm like, oh, I'm, you know, such and such weeks. Oh, well, what are you having? And I'm like, oh, it's twins. You know, and they're like, oh, do you know what you're having yet? I'm like, oh, it's, it's boys. Oh, wow. And blah, and they'll go on and on. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm like, well, they're like, you know, is this your first set or this is your first, whatever the case may be. And I'm like, well, I had a set of girls, you know, and you know, their name was, you know, London and Lindsay and blah. And I mean, I feel like I go into this whole fantasy, fairy tale like speaking about them and their existence you know and and I feel like I don't do it purposely like I just feel like it just comes natural and I feel like if I talk about and it's like today I went to LeBron's school to have lunch with him and you know we was talking and stuff and she was like this girl this lady not girl but this lady um at the school she was like yeah I had a set of twins it was a boy and a girl she said I prayed to God that it was a girl in there and I'm like yeah I did too and so, uh, so anyway, she was like, uh, she said that, um, what was I going with this? Uh, oh, when she was talking about, you know, how many that she had. And I said, yeah, I said, well, and all I have six, and all I have six kids. I have three in heaven and three down here. The three down here are boys. The three in heaven are girls, you know, and it's just I don't know it's like I I love 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 to talk about my girls you know and little angel it's kind of hard I can't I don't really bring her up as often to people because I don't want to explain well yeah and when she was nine weeks her heart stopped or blah 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 you know so a lot of times I'll just mention London and Lindsay because physically they were here um you know they came into the world even though you know it wasn't the way we wanted them to enter the world um, and I don't know, <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to kind of share those feelings with y'all. You know, I'm, I'm okay. And I hadn't cried or anything. I do. I have, I've, I have found myself getting more emotional since we've passed 20 weeks. Um, tomorrow I make 21 weeks and, um, what I do sometimes is I look back in my little book where I used to write down every day what, what, what I was feeling and so forth. Or I used to just go back to the pictures that I might have taken at that time. Or, you know, or I'll remember, oh, when I was 21 weeks, I remember they had put me on bed rest. And I remember going to my mom's house and being on bed rest so that way she can help me with LeBron. And, you know, I remember this. And it was around, you know, Christmas at that time. And I was in and out the hospital. I had to go to the hospital that day. And I remember this. And it's like, I, I'm, I'm kind of like replaying in my mind all that had happened. All that had happened. And it's like, man, we made it, we made it 20 weeks so fast. And I just knew that when I got to this point, it would be emotional. And I just feel like when I get to that 23 weeks and two days when they were born and when I get to that with them I just feel like I'm going to be a total mess I feel like I'm holding all those feelings in and I just don't know I just don't know how I'm going to react, feel or whatever so y'all it's, 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 it's tough man it's, it's so tough um, especially when you're given exactly the gender that you always wanted your whole life to have 
them pretty much ripped from you and then be put back in the same situation of being pregnant and with twins again and then they're both a different gender but to succeed and pass everything you know it just I don't know I, I just I don't know like it's just it's the weirdest feel. It almost feels like I'm like I'm pregnant with London and Lindsay again. That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm pregnant with London and Lindsay. In a sense, that's how it feels. It kind of feels like I just woke up and we were already in stuff. You know, and it's not something I let bother me. Like I don't go crazy about it, so I don't need any kind of counseling or anything like that. But. It's just something that's really emotional. It's real emotional. And, you know, I do miss them tremendously, you know, and I just now have to turn, like, all my attention to the boys, you know, and make sure that they know, you know, I do love them and that they're wanted and you know and just stuff like that so anyway I just wanted to come and just kind of share some of those feelings I did good I did not cry yay I'm I'm trying to you know be strong while telling y'all because I mean it's hard it's, it's really hard and I, I hold it in for reasons other than just sobbing on the camera you know it's just I don't want to get myself worked up or upset or you know have them feel like they're unwanted or have LeBron feel like oh because he did ask me he said mama he said are you happy you know he said um you said you having boys you said you having two boys and so, of course, he noticed, and I'm pretty sure he's heard. He's so observant when he's not supposed to be observant. And so, I was like, well, Mama really, really, really wanted a daughter, too. And I said, but, I said, but I'm happy. I said, I'm, I'm happy. I, I, you know, I, I'm okay. I said, Mama's okay. I, and so, he goes, well, I'm happy. And in a sense, when he said that, I wanted to cry because it's like, okay, I know you're happy. And I know... You want siblings, and I know that you're probably so ecstatic because you're having, you know, boys to play with. And I'm happy for him, you know, but it was just like, kind of like a kick in the, in the throat in a sense when he said that. Because I'm like, it's okay, it's okay for you to be happy, you know, and I'm glad that you're happy, you know. And I'm happy that, you know, that, you, that you're getting, you know, uh, your siblings and stuff and... And stuff like that. And I was just like, you know, mama, mama love y'all though. Mama, you know, gonna love y'all and everything else, you know. And, you know, but it's just true and real feelings, you know, it is. And it's hard to mask them around anybody. Anybody, it is, you know. So I'm still working on that. I've gotten better. Like I said, I am, you know, starting to get, you know, a little bit more excited the closer we get. I do talk with them. I do play with them. I do, um tell them I love them I I mean every time they move we play games and I you know I touch they kick and move and I talk to them and you know and stuff like that so of course you know they're my baby so I mean I can't ever not ever <laughs> never ever make them feel like they're not loved or anything like that well, well thank you for confirming that big kick and they can kick. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go. And um, the belly hasn't changed from a week. But I'll show y'all anyway. For those that got an extra little video. Woo! There's the belly. Can y'all see it? Woo! Big belly. So anyway. Ugh! Oh. I will be hollering at y'all later with the next video. And, um, yeah. Talk to y'all later. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Bye. Exhaling back. Inhaling forward. Again, exhaling back.
keep the belly soft. Inhale and come forward. 